uh, 23-6, uh, the, the darker pigmented, uh, um, a more traditional uh, belted one uh, comes here next. Uh, pedigree on this one uh, be New Heights, uh, the boar there at upper hand that's a Cinderella son. Uh, just uh, his first crop uh, rolling here back on uh, Cheers' his mom. So uh, that sow is the next intention. Uh, and, and, again, Cheers there, the, the white boar, that, uh, the white Glory Day son that uh, uh, we sold uh, the guys there at Genetic Edge. So uh, a combination of uh, when you've got Cinderella on the bottom, Cheers, Cheers mom on the bottom side, uh, this guy has got uh, uh, good sows all through his pedigree. And, uh, you know, again, uh, we've, we've talked about a couple of them that are sharp looking up front. This one's uh, a head and neck assembly, and, and just the way it attaches to his body is, is just uh, absolutely lights out. Uh, he, he, he's still moderate in his length, yet uh, long-hipped. Uh, I think that's a pig, again, that's uh, got a very high ceiling uh, in, in the New Heights uh, uh, next intention pig. Real neat and cocky looking up front. Again, I love the, his ability to just, again, crank his head above his spine. And, you know, a lot of these folks uh, in, in past years, they, when they get stout, they don't blend as good in the, their head carriage and into crest and back into their blade. And, and he looks like one that can maintain some of that kind of look and, and have that uh, that distinct kind of a, an eye appeal coming at you. And, and he's very green, but, uh, and again, in a, in a good way. I mean, he's got all the indicators you need to see to – make you think he's going to be a stout one and but he's very green immature that you can really roll light right along with him because he's correct and the immature um just kind of get as creative with the feed bucket as you want to because everything looks like it's going to collect together and hold together exactly the way you need to over over a good period of time this is a 23-6